I have to go back why I went to Theresienstadt. We lived in that big apartment and in one of the rooms there was an elderly man. He was a major in World War I, a very fine man. He was a widower and uh, he had children. And one day they closed our street where I lived after November the 10th, you know, Novara Gasse. They closed up from the beginning to the end and nobody, nobody could, could flee from there. And the, the name from that, from the man was uh, Paul Maid, a wonderful, wonderful man. That's why I'm sitting here today. And uh, he worked at the Kultusgemeinde and he came uh, home and he said to my mother, look, Frau Schwarz, you know, in, in German, he said, look, they going to come and they going to take the whole street, whoever is a Jew, if you want to listen to me, I'm going to say that your two daughters, myself, my sister, are my children and you are my common law wife. Now, you should know my mother was a very, very uh, fine woman and, and she said, how could I say this? I, I can't lie, I can't, you know. So I said to my mother, look, but he wants to help us. So what should I tell you? It was not long, the SS came with his, his uh, uh, you know, when, when you go riding, you have, uh, um, um, not a stick, but anyway, he, he was uh, uh, um, on the door, he was knocking on the door and he came in and he saw uh, every, everybody rouse. So we went out from our, from our room and we were standing there and uh, um, he said, who is this and who is this, you know? And he saw a picture from my fiancé, to this time I was engaged, and my fiancé was already in America, you know. And he saw the picture, he said, and who is this here? And my mother said, this is from, from me, my fiancé. So anyway, then he asked, the, 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 and who are you? And he said that he, is, he was a major in World War I, and this he liked, you know, if somebody was by military. And he said, and this is, in German certainly, this is my common law wife, and these are my two daughters. And he looked at me, we didn't look like him, you know, we looked like my mother, especially me. And he looked at us, the Nazi, and then he said, all right, you, you, you go to the side. And my aunt lived in the same apartment, she had to move from her apartment. And she visited us and she was standing there and she said of German to my mother, and what about us? That was my mother's brother's wife. And my mother couldn't say anything, we couldn't say anything. So they took her too. And the 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 letters pack, I packed for my uncle everything. Certainly they didn't get it. They took everything away. But that's how we came to Theresienstadt, and we they didn't took us to Poland, where everybody perished. Tell me the first time you came to, uh, to Theresienstadt. Theresien Again, mate went with a transport before us to Theresienstadt. And we went with the next October the 24th or the 23rd, uh, 19... Uh, 1942, and uh, we came there, certainly the, the, uh, the Nazis were standing already by, by the, by the it, it was, uh, 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 you know, we came with, uh, with um, um, 
No, I forgot. No, no anyway, uh, we, we came there and uh, uh, we had to run, you know, uh, again, they were uh, yelling raus, so we went raus, uh, we went outside, and then we, we, we had to walk into Theresienstadt. And it just happened that the maid was there again. And uh, so we, we, uh, he saw us and he said, but it does, didn't help. Well, they were all Jewish already in the ghetto. There was Jewish people. So we, we got, uh, uh, it was winter, October is very cold. So we got on an, an top, on top floor. Everything was open. We, we were laying on a mattress for a good couple of months. 